Hello, Ralph Develobak. Today I want to talk about resetting the embouchure. Now, what I mean by resetting the embouchure is um, what happens is as we're playing, we do a lot of forcing. We force uh, with the right hand, the left hand. We manipulate with the lips, with the tongue, with, the, with uh, twisting of the trumpet, uh, a lot of things. So what happens is we end up uh, sort of like throwing, our, throwing all the embouchure muscles out of balance because of all the things we're doing when we're playing. Sometimes we get a little tired and playing a long job or whatever and you're forcing and that's another thing that throws, it, throws everything out. So, uh, or we're trying to play, uh, we're playing high notes and maybe we're playing too many high notes or the job requires you to play so many high notes. Again, uh, you're not being natural in, uh, in how you're playing, so things go out of balance. So, so now I want to talk about resetting the embouchure, so you're back to ground zero, so uh, you feel, you're feeling comfortable again and you can get going and you can play, you can play well again. Because the longer it's out of balance, uh, sometimes the worse it gets, the longer it takes to set it back. But uh, So that's what I want to talk about today, is uh, resetting the embouchure. So to reset the embouchure, uh, I really believe that you really shouldn't be forcing anything. Everything has to be like in a um, in a medium range, and, uh, and you're not forcing, this way you're not getting... Um, Manipulation of the tongue and the lips and the embouchure muscles and and uh, the pressure of, of, of both hands and the twisting and the tilting. So uh, I believe you have to keep it as uh, uh, let's say simple as possible. And uh, there are, there are ways of doing this to reset. So uh, let's talk about uh, some of the things that uh, that I would do to reset the embouchure muscles. And it may take a, a few days. I mean, you can do it for a day. It depends on how much time you have and what you're doing, what you're playing, a day, a week. But uh, it's usually two or three days will re reset everything. Nothing wrong with doing it for a week if you if you have that week off, or uh, if you had to do it for one or two days out, would that really help you also? So uh, let's talk about some of the uh, the exercises, so to say, that uh, that we would do to reset the armature muscles. All right, so some of the exercises that that I'm gonna re recommend uh, they're good to, to to help you reset, but you could do a lot of exercises that you like that are similar. So uh, some long tone exercises with no forcing, nothing crazy high, and uh, let's get started with some of the things I recommend. Of course, I recommend uh, you doing the Carmine Caruso six notes. That's always a good thing to, to reset because we're putting the trumpet on and we're not, we're breathing in through the nose and we're not moving. We're not taking the trumpet on, off, on, off, on, off. We're leaving it on through the completion of the six notes we do it twice. So that's one exercise and I'm sure most of you are familiar with the six notes. If not, you can go back to one of my videos and uh, review the six notes if you like. Any of these things I talk about, you'll probably be able to find them online. Uh, exercises that are already did. Uh, another thing that, that I think is good, and don't force it too high, let me show you. Uh, the, uh, yeah, hold on. the harmonics, you're doing all seven positions, starting on the G, and we're going to play that. The harmonics, and we're not going to go over the high. We're only going to do it over here as it's written up to the high C. So um, maybe we'll, we'll play that. We'll play that one together a little bit. Now, when you do that, put it on. Once you put it on, play through the each line. So you're going to be open position. Don't stop in between, and don't breathe in between. Try to play from the beginning to the end of that. So let's do the the, the G. We go down to the C, up to the C. The B flat comes first in the harmonics. But well, let's do that. Okay, now you can take it off and play the next position. You can actually do the whole thing by leaving it on, you know, without ever taking it off. But if you want to take it off, get ready for the next one. So it will be uh, second position, the middle finger. Starting on the 
starting on the F sharp, going down to the B, and up to the B. Okay, and so you do that with each position, and that helps you set everything from that middle register down up to the high C. And I, I don't want you to go any higher than that because we don't want to start forcing anything, twisting anything, even though you can go higher, and I know that you, you can. So the idea is just to keep everything in, in a range. That's one, one exercise. And then play some long etudes. Like for me, I like to play at a, at a concone. This book here, some of the etudes out of that. But you can play any long etudes that you want. So play long, uh, play maybe four measures, take it off. Rest for rest for a little while, you know, for uh, 20, 30 seconds. Put it back on, play, because we're not forcing anything. We're not trying to play from the beginning to the end, all the way to the end. We're going to play four measures. Try to play nice. Use your vibrato. Use use everything that you, that your skills that you have, and uh, play some nice A twos. Don't put, don't don't strain. Don't go too high, and, uh, and so, a lot of times that puts your playing back into into a good thing. You can play some drills out of the Max Slasberg book if you want, uh, or or, uh, or or any book. It doesn't have to be have to be that book. Uh, so the one thing I'm going to show you today is is an exercise that uh, that I used to do with Carmine Caruso, and this 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 really sets your armature back nicely. Uh, this is a, some people agree, some people don't agree with this, but first we do a lip buzz. Then we do a mouthpiece buzz, then we play it on the trumpet. Let me show you this exercise. It's very simple. Here is the exercise. So we're, we're playing G, F sharp, G, rest four beats, and then the same thing, we go keep going down in half steps, all right, down to the C. And we take it off, rest, and then we can go all the way down if we want. But, uh, you know, down to the lower sharp if we want. But uh, So first we're going to lip buzz it, the whole thing, down to the C. Then we're going to mouthpiece buzz it, down to the C. Then we're going to play it on the trumpet, down to the C. Nice and relaxed. We're not forcing anything at all. So uh, let's, uh, let's play a little of that together just so we get an idea of, of how uh, Crusoe used to have us do this. I tell you, after a couple of days of not straining and just playing these nice exercises, your lips come back to life. Your armature's reset. It's not twisted. You're not you're not manipulating anything, and uh, it gets you good to go again. So uh, let's do uh, from the the G. This is G F sharp G. So let's get the note. So you got the, the G. Well, now let's let's lip buzz it first. So we're gonna do all the way down to the C. So we do that from the G, then we ended up uh, playing the last note, the low C. Then we're going to mouthpiece buzz it.
that from the G down to the low C. Then the next one we're going to do, do it on trumpet. I had made a couple of mistakes there, but that's all right. Don't matter. So now that's the end of that exercise. You can stop there, or we can do the same thing now from that point, the C down to the low F sharp. So uh, I recommend doing that too. So first you do it the same way. First you uh, lip buzz it, then you mouthpiece buzz it, then you play down the trumpet. After that, you stop for a little while and rest and rest a couple of minutes. Let me show you one, one more exercise uh, to keep in this line of, of getting everything back into in position, to correct position naturally. That's the important thing. And um, this is called, uh, is it called perfect forts? So, so these perfect forts will, will really help you. Uh, perfect forts down and perfect forts up. So uh, let me uh, just play a tiny bit of this for you and to give you an idea of what we're doing. And <clears throat> we could just play this on a trumpet or we can do this also, uh, you know, buzzer in first, mouthpiece second, trumpet, trumpet third. So well, let's just do it on the trumpet and that works fine. One. Two, three. Also, we're going to do the perfect forts, rest for a minute, and we'll do the perfect forts up. <clears throat> we'll, start on, <clears throat> we'll start on the C, and we'll do the perfect forts up, low C. I have my slide in, I might have been playing most of this a little bit sharp. But uh, pull it out a little bit and see if we get a better tune here.
Okay, so if you notice, like I played the D to the G, I played one two, then one two going up to the G, and on C sharp one two three, then one two three going up to the F sharp. I just like to use the lips rather than moving the fingers on those things. So these are the things that are going to relax you, and you're not forcing anything, you're not forcing any hand motions, you're not forcing your lips. All things that you you can play easily, and don't let the word easily fool you. Say, well, I don't need to play it because it's easy. That's the whole purpose is because it's easy. Well, now, sometimes, all right, when we're done with this, I would say, um, you, go ahead and play a, uh, a chromatic scale from the low F sharp up to the F sharp. If it really feels easy that day, up to the C, but no, no higher than that. Let's just do it from the F sharp to the F sharp. So we do that and it feels crazy easy. Wanna go up to high C, we'll do that. Don't go above that. I don't want any twisting on this on this recovery period that you're doing for a couple days. Let's do it again to the high C. That's it. That's it. You're done. Don't do any forcing. Put the trumpet away. Maybe you want to come back and play something. You need to practice something later. But okay, but nothing that's forced. Maybe you want to play song. You learn the song, whatever. Now, uh, just do uh, some of the things you do. Uh, clock book is all another thing that comes to mind that's good to do. And, you know, you don't have to strain with that. And uh, so <clears throat> that's it. That's what I mean by reset your embouchure. After two, three days, your armature is reset back to a good natural position, and you're ready to go from there. Uh, thanks for watching this lesson, and I'll see you soon.